Alright guys, welcome back to another mCreditor tutorial. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up a procedure to allow you to break, um, well have an item break and then basically replace in your inventory. So this is a custom shovel. You can use it with, I believe, regular items as well uh, because it's through a global procedure. As long as you have the tag of the item or the um, actual item like from Minecraft, then you'll be able to use it. So you'll be able to use it with cross mod support as well. So it uh, helps you if I'm actually in survival. So we'll go to, whoop, whoop, there we go. Survival, just took a bunch of screenshots. All right, so if we right click on the ground, as you can see, it takes damage and then it will break and then put it in our inventory. So this is through a right click event. Uh, there is a MBT that is stored to it. Um, there's actually nothing that is prints out because we didn't craft the item. Uh, there isn't actually an item to craft with it, like there isn't a recipe, but if you were to have a MBT and stuff like that, and then basically through something like procedure or whatever, then it would basically carry that MBT over to the item. So if we mine as well, so we're mining the blocks, it will break and then it will also do the same thing. So again, there's no display message because I didn't set up the crafting recipe, but basically it would be displaying the MBT through that if there was. All right, so that's basically that. Uh, there isn't anything else that I need to really demonstrate here. So, um yeah let's go into amp creator and then i'll quickly show you the basic script and kind of explain how that all works for this to work you're going to need one item one tool uh if you want to use a custom tool then uh you will need one tool but you will need a item for basically for the break uh version of that particular tool so if you want to make a wooden shovel or something like that you'll have to make an item for it for when it does break um basically you have full control over what you want you just need a texture for it. everything else is is customizable to whatever you need uh there isn't really anything i changed in this it's just the base properties of the item just for the tutorial um the only procedure that you actually need is this one right here. Uh, it's a global trigger. So basically what you want to do is you want to set up a global trigger, go through the list until you find one uh, right here where it says item is destroyed. And then you want to specify the provided item stack equals and then the type of item that basically um you want to sp specify for the actual tool that is breaking so in this case it's our unbroken tool and then what we're doing is we're going to copy the provided item I or item stack to a local variable which is the variable right over here uh it's uh my mbt data it's just a item stack variable and then you can name it whatever you want but we require that in order to pass over the MBT to a separate thing. So when we, the item does break and we replace the slot with the actual broken item, it will still be able to carry over to the item itself. Uh, without that, you would basically be just copying the item's MVT of your broken version and then applying it back to the broken version. So that's why we're running this at the top here. We're copying it before we replace it, and then we're replacing our um, our MBT that we basically got from it back to the item in the main hand. So that's basically what it's doing there. To find these blocks, uh, what you need to do is go under flow control for the if statement. Uh, you just need a basic if statement like this. And then what you need is to go under logic and grab a red operator, which is this one right here. And then Minecraft components for the provided item stack. So this one right here. And then you need to go back to Minecraft components and grab the red block for selector. And then you would select your tools. So this can be anything that you want. It's um, pretty dynamic. So if you wanted to use a iron shovel, then you can use an iron shovel and just specify what item that you basically want to test for when it's broken. And then what you need to do is go to item procedures and then scroll down until you find 
the one that says, where is it? Um, copy MBT tags of, and then there's a blank space, if it has any, into, and then another blank space. So this will be the block that you need to actually set up. And then you'll go back to Minecraft components, grab your item stack or provided item stack, and then you want to specify the MBT. So to create an MBT, I'll just walk you through that. Item stack, create new one, we'll just call it uh, my stack. And then what you would want to do is you would want to go ahead to custom variables, grab the red custom variable and select your NB, your item stack variable here. So once you've done that, you need to go to entity procedures, I think it's entity management actually, and then scroll down until you see set item in main hand of event slash target entity to one and then a item block right there. Uh, this will be your broken item. So you want to set that up like that. And then you can just duplicate this top one and then place that down here. Remove the provided item stack, move your variable block over one. And then what you want to do is you want to go to entity data and grab the red block that says item in main hand of, of um, event slash target entity. And then you'll place that right down here. And then that will basically be all the code that you need to actually set up for switching the tool over. So again, uh, this will be in the workspace for the project files. I won't provide the textures mainly because they are vanilla ones and I don't want to get sued. So um, you'll have to create your own ones for that. But the workspace for the project as well as the procedure will be in the description. Uh, the other procedures here are just basically the ones that I was going to use for demonstrating. Uh, if I were to craft the item, it would have been uh, basically applying this message or MBT to the data for the um, item itself for the crafted or the uh, fine one, which is basically just showing that it would have carried over the uh, MBT, but I didn't get that far. So it says hello world, it would have printed out hello world. When we right clicked on the broken shovel, it would have basically just printed that message out. So again, those blocks aren't required, uh, but if you wanted to set up a crafting recipe, you could do so through um, just a simple recipe, we'll just call it uh, wooden shovel uh, recipe. And then you could just like craft it up with something like one plank or something like actually one planks button. So I don't know, uh, maybe two planks and one stick. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and you could just do that, just use a regular wooden shovel, that would work too. So items, and then you could just craft it up like that and then select our wooden shovel that we created. There you go, recipe done. So that would work and then you could basically test it with the actual example. So we'll do that quickly just uh, in game. I'll cut back in when we're in game and then I can show you that it basically works the way it should. All right, so I have a couple just regular wooden shovels in my inventory. Uh, those are the ones that we'd basically craft it up with. So those are the tools. It should have MBT data. You can see down below with the um, MBT data that it says it has two now. Uh, if we were to go into this inventory, you can just see that it has one MBT data. This was the other tools that I had uh, for the same thing. It just doesn't have the MBT data. So uh, when we craft it, it basically gives it that. Now, if we were to use this tool and it should break and then we can right click on it and it will say hello world because it's uh, passed over the MP MBT data from the tool itself to the broken tool. So you'll be able to carry over the MBT data that way. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, read the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.